Today we're going to have a look at building Smart Contact Center AI by combining the power of Twilio Programmable Voice and Cognigy AI. Let's start out by looking at what Cognigy AI actually is. Cognigy AI is an enterprise conversational AI platform that you can use to build conversational artificial intelligences and deploy them on any conversational channel. Those channels can be messaging channels like Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp, there can be digital assistants like Alexa, Google Home, or there can be other voice channels like, for example, Twilio. Inside Cognigy, you can build the AIs essentially in two ways. You can use the linear forms editor where you combine messages, questions, and conditions to create a user experience. For example, here we are, asked, we are first saying, welcome to Cognigy. Then we're saying, are you interested in conversational AI, which is a yes, no question. And then depending on what the user answers, we're asking the next thing or sending the next message. All of this is exposed through the Cognigy Flow Editor, which is a powerful workflow engine that sits behind the forms. Here we've built a, a Cognigy Flow, which is a conversational AI that can handle bookings. And that's what we have exposed for the demo later on the Twilio endpoint. So if a user comes in and says hi, and it might be through a chat channel or it might be through a voice channel, the AI comes back and says, welcome to Cognitive Travel Asia, how can I help you? Say, I want to change my booking. Now, what's going on behind the scenes is that we have a full NLP stack that analyzes what is the meaning of that sentence. It detects the intent, it extracts slots. Now here, for example, it says, tell me your booking ID. And if we say any random booking ID, it's going to do a database request in real time, then come back and tell the user something about that request. For example, in this case, I can't find a booking for one, two, three, four, five, six. All of this is exposed to the outside world through our endpoints. And we have, of course, also Twilio endpoints where we can connect Twilio to any of the Cognigy flows in any of the languages that Twilio supports. So how would a use case look like with Twilio? How would a smart contact center AI work? On the one hand, we have the customers on the left side. They call Twilio and then Twilio handles the call routing and forwards the um, converted text to Cognigy which manages the conversational AI. Cognigy then interfaces with enterprise systems such as databases or APIs, gives, those, gives this information back to Cognigy, which builds the answer. Cognigy gives the answer back to Twilio and then Twilio sends it back onto the phone line. So that's how that works in general. Let's have a look at two examples. The first one is that the user calls the AI. So how does that work? The user calls the AI, for example, to change a booking. And that's what we're going to see in the demo in a couple of minutes. You could create smarter IVRs or any kind of contact center solutions. Customers could check account balances, change bookings, or request information. And we're going to show you a demo of this now. We're going to start in Cognigy again. So if we go to Cognigy, here we have a web chat where you can make travel bookings. So we say, let's go. We get uh, welcome to Cognigy Travel Asia. We can say, where would you like to go? For example, Tokyo. So in this case, we get presented with a couple of hotels that were pulled in real time from a database. And maybe we want to make a booking at the Shangri-La Hotel in Tokyo. So Tokyo is a great place. The average price per night is 672 US dollars. Do you want to make a booking? And now we, are, we can say, um, yes, uh, from uh, September, uh, 22nd and it's going to ask us for the departure date so let's pick uh, the, um, September 30th and then we get asked some more information like what's your first name what's your last name my email address and uh, whether I want to receive specials and maybe in this case we actually say no so now it says thanks Phil we booked your stay at the Shangri-La Hotel Tokyo for seven nights for you your booking um, number is 3398 Seven, five. So that's what we do in the web chat. So now let's say we want to change that booking afterwards. By combining Twilio and Cognigy, we can now call the AI and change the reservation. Let's hear what that sounds like. Welcome to Cognigy Travel Asia. You're speaking to our automated customer service AI. 
How can I help you? I want to change my booking. Please tell me your booking ID. 339875. your booking. For security purposes, please tell me the current arrival date. I'm arriving on September 22nd. Thanks. This is confirmed. Your booking is number 339875 to Shangri-La Hotel, Tokyo. How can I help you? I want to change my arrival date. Please tell me the new arrival date. I will arrive on September 24th. If we change your arrival date to September 24th, then your trip will be from September 24th to September 30th. Is that correct? Yes. Thanks. We have changed the arrival date to September 24th. Is there anything else I can help you with? I have a question in regards to the hotel facilities. Sorry, I don't know how to help with this request. Would you like to talk to an operator? Yes, please. Not a problem. Please wait while I transfer you to an operator. Cognitive Travel Asia, how may I help you? Yes, hi. I have a question in regards to my booking. Is this in regards to your trip to Shangari La in Tokyo? Yeah, that's right. So what we've seen here is how the user interacts with Twilio, which in turn interacts with Cognigy, which in turn interacts with the enterprise systems to change your booking. So what happens is the user called Twilio, so a number that we provided to the user for the support hotline, for example. Twilio then forwarded the call information to Cognigy, which interacts with the enterprise systems, formulates the answer back to Twilio, and then Twilio reads out that answer to the user. At one point, we had a human handover where Cognigy decided, okay, we want to hand over the call to a human and no longer have the call being handled by the conversational AI. So what happened there is that we injected what's called TwiML, so Twilio markup language, into the Twilio answer in, in step four, which then in turn got Twilio to transfer the call to a human ap operator so that from then on the human was communicating with the user. The second use case is where the AI calls the user or where the AI calls a business on the user's behalf. So what happens is that you, that you can trigger an AI-powered phone call directly from within Cognigy and then in Twilio will place the call waits for the user or the business to answer, and then facilitate the conversation using Cognigy Conversational AI. So there's many use cases for this, like you can book appointments on behalf of the user, or you can remind the user on a certain date via their phones. You can authenticate users to make sure that these actually are the users that they say they are when they're interacting through another channel like a web chat. So let's get back to our booking engine. Say so we have a new uh, new session here. It says, hey, Phil, it's great to have you back. Are you looking for another hotel in Tokyo? And maybe you say, no, we actually want to go to Bangkok and we want to book a stay at this hostel. Because do you want to make a booking? Yeah, from October 1st to 10th. What's your first name? My first name's Phil. Or maybe Philip. My last name's Heltewick. Maybe we give it a different email address. So we say uh, gmail.com. And uh, uh, do you want to receive specials? And yeah, I want to receive hotel specials. Now it says, Proxa Hostel Bangkok doesn't have online booking facilities, so we can have our AI call the hostel for you. Do you want us to make the booking for you? If we now type yes or yeah or something like this, then the AI will make the, um, the booking on our behalf. It will call the hostel in Bangkok and make the booking. So let's listen to what that would sound like when we have that um, here in Cognigy. So we say yes, and it will call and then give us a confirmation afterwards. Hi, 
This is the Cognigy Travel Asia Bookings AI. A customer requested us to make a reservation with you. Can you take the reservation now? Yes. I will tell you the details of the reservation now. Please confirm after each piece of information. Let's start. Our internal booking number is 334244. Okay, noted that. The customer name is Philip Heltwig. How do you spell the last name? Heltwig is spelled H-E-L-T-E-W-I-G. Okay, got that. The arrival date is October 1st and the departure is October 10th. October 10th, okay. The email is p-h-e-l-t-e-w-i-g at g-m-a-i-l dot c-o-m. Okay, next. Can you confirm the booking? Yes, confirmed. Thanks. Do you have a message for the customer? Please let them know that the check-in is from 3 p.m. on. Thank you. We will deliver your message. Have a great day. So in this case, we saw how we used Twilio to call the business, in this case, the hostel, and to deliver the booking information and make the booking on behalf of the user. So how does that work? The call is triggered by Cognigy by, from the chat that the user is having, telling Twilio to place a call. Twilio then called the hostel, and when the hostel answered, it initiated a conversation similar to the first use case, where now the hostel was interacting with Cognigy's conversational AI, which in turn was interacting with the bookings database. Then the interesting thing happened at the end. The, um, the um, hostel gave a confirmation message, and this message was then sent on to the user chat. So if we go back to the chat, now you can see, thank you, Crooks Hostel confirmed your booking. They want to let you know the following message. Please let them know that the check-in is from 3 p.m. on, which is the message that the lady on the phone sent to the user. So that's it for the demo here. If you want to learn more about this, feel free to give us a call or book a demo. You can always reach us at www.cognigy.com. We would love to show you more about how you can work with conversational AI and Twilio.